Hey guys, Nick from Security Pros, and I'm going to show you how to enable AI rules inside of a SureVision camera. In order to do this, you'll need to have an AI enabled SureVision camera. And I'm also going to cover the mobile alerts side of things as well. So if you want to set that up, you'll need to have remote viewing enabled and set up on your mobile device. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is head to the main menu. And then VCA on the left. Depending on what kind of camera you have, you'll see certain AI rules that are able to be enabled or disabled, and you'll also see some that, that are grayed out and not clickable. This simply means that the camera that you're working with does not support the particular feature. Most all SureVision cameras have some form of AI rule, and they all work almost the same. So I'm going to set up a cross-line detection rule for this guide. First thing, let's click the checkbox next to it. That's going to enable it and we can click the gear icon to the right to set it up. Inside of the rule settings, you'll see your camera's live view. And what we need to do is draw a tripwire or a cross line in the camera's view in order to trigger a particular action. For this camera, you can have up to four different tripwire rules. Click on the draw button next to rule one. You'll see the status now says drawing. Left-click anywhere on the live view screen, drag your mouse to the finish point, and click again. You can move the rule around the screen to fine-tune it if you need to, or delete it and try again if the rule isn't exactly the way you like it. In my example, I'm going to monitor anyone or anything that comes down the hallway. We can fine-tune the rule by changing the direction movement travels over the line drawn. I'm going to do both directions in my setup to keep things simple. You can change the sensitivity of the detection, as well as filter out vehicles or pedestrians. We could also define trigger actions, like an audible alarm from the NVR, send an email, or pop up a message on screen. We're going to be setting up mobile alerts shortly, so I don't need any of these for my application. You can also change the schedule when the rule is armed. I'll be arming mine 24 seven in this example, but you can change it here to meet your needs. We can define minimum or maximum sizes for a rule to detect. I found that the default positions work best for most applications, but feel free to fine tune this if necessary. If your camera comes equipped with a speaker or LED light, these settings will be accessible at the bottom. I'm gonna set up the light to blink when the line is crossed, and I'm gonna max out the brightness as well for maximum blinding action. And now that our rule is all set, make sure you apply any changes when you're done. Anytime I set up a rule, I like to test it out and make sure I did the setup correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and walk down the hall now and make sure everything is working as it should. It looks like it's working perfect. Let me show you what those LEDs looked like from my end. Those LEDs are bright. If somebody came up to your house or business and these things went off, it would most definitely scare them off. Next in this example, I want to set up mobile alerts for my new rule that we just added. Let's change gears over to the SureVision app. Let's tap on the top left menu button, tap on alarm notifications. Let's enable the notifications for this device. Tap on your device one more time and select which camera we just configured the rule for. Mine's simple because I only have one camera attached. Feel free to define when you want to get the alerts. I'm going to keep my example simple and have it send alerts 24-7. We need to select the proper type of alert. I had motion alerts enabled, but that's not what we're looking for here. Motion alerts will send me notifications for any type of motion that happens. We want to enable VCA alerts inside of here. Let's save that at the top right corner. And now let's test out our mobile alerts. I'm going to walk down the hallway again. And it looks like we got an alert. And if we tap on that notification, it's going to show us what happened. Looks like we have two cross-line detection alarms. And if I click on these alerts, it's going to show me the playback of what it recorded.
It looks like it's just me walking up and down the hallway. Looks like it's working great. One last thing I'd like to go over is the VCA search function. This is going to allow you to search only the events picked up by an AI role that you've set up. First, let's head to the main menu. VCA and VCA search. I'm going to use the behavior filter and search the entire day for events. The MVR will find all of the events from your search. You can click on an event and see the playback footage of the event. The system will show you what kind of event and filter if it's been enabled. You can select files at the top corner and back them up to a USB drive if you have one. Once a file has been selected, click the backup button. Click backup one more time and the system will export the video to the USB drive. This is a very easy way to back up your AI events. That wraps it up for the AI features. There's a handful of other AI rules that you can configure depending on the camera that you're using. This setup guide really applies to all of them, but if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us for assistance.